Hey, yo, gang, now check me out. I don't know how much y'all into, like, this type of news, but I just feel like there's something we should always, you know, keep our eye on, for real, all things considered, you know? So we're looking at this gag order, gag order my bad, from um, Trump's trial that's been reinstated, yo. So let's just go over this news extract re clip right here. And turning now to breaking news out of the New York City trial that threatens former President Donald Trump's massive business empire. Just in the last few minutes, an appellate court reinstated a gag order that bars the former president from commenting on the judge presiding over the case and his staff. Joining us now is MSNBC legal analyst Lisa Rubin. Lisa, good morning. So what is this all about today? So President Trump and his lawyers, there are gag orders affecting both of them, Jose, have moved for a stay of the gag order. They were granted that stay on an interim basis while an appeals court in New York considered their motion. Today, we're hearing news from four judges in the first department, which is part of the appellate court here in New York, reinstating that gag order. Their two-page order is extremely terse. They just say that having read all of the papers filed by both President Trump and his team, the attorney general of New York, Tish James and her team, and finally, the New York state court system on behalf of Judge Arthur and Goran, his law clerk, having read all of those papers. They are denying the motion for a stay of those two gag orders and are lifting the interim stay. Now, of course, the appeals of the gag orders themselves are still continuing, but practically speaking, they won't be decided by the end of this trial. And that means for the duration of this trial, we should expect that former President Trump and his legal team continue to be under an order that denies them the right to speak about any of the court personnel, unlike the D.C. Circuit, where I'm sorry, unlike the D.C. court, where the gag order that was in effect was broader. The one in New York solely concerns court personnel and particularly the principal law clerk that assists Judge Angoran with this case. Those are back in effect as of today and not a moment too soon, Jose, I would add. Just last night, uh, Donald Trump posted something to Truth Social talking about Judge Angoran's wife and the law clerk. Gang, this guy, bro, this guy. I, I never been on his, um, his app before, Truth Social, whatever, his social media app. I don't I don't know how truthful it could be, you know? It seems like, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, I'm trying to knock nothing I ain't never tried, but like, this gag order makes sense, bro, makes sense. Cause from the little I know and how he used to rant and rave on Twitter, bro. Yeah, bro, <laughs> that was crazy though, but like, yeah, cause he be out here wildin', bro. So basically he can't talk about none of the judges, none of their personnel, none of the, you know judicial team but is, is he able to talk about their family is that what she was just saying i don't know if you know comment down below let me know i'm definitely trying to like widen my knowledge what it is we talk about here what it is we know here because like you gotta know the world you live in right so thanks for watching today's video and i'm gonna see y'all in the next one